All right, guys, welcome back. Now, as you can see, we have, we do not have control of Rudy, although he we, he is basically um, in transit with us. We cannot use him. So now we have to find what's her name, Mariel, in Rosetta Town, and from there we can find out how to help Rudy. So go ahead and use your teleport and go to Rosetta Town. All right, from here you can, if you need to. Recover, well actually I don't think you need to recover your HP. If you already haven't been using your secret science, um, unless you want to use Magnet Map for the rest of your life, I would say hold off. You're going to get a, a much stronger fast draw later on. I'm not exactly sure when just yet, but I will definitely, definitely let you guys know which one it is when I find, when I remember. So, go here to Muriel's house, talk to her. What? How? Rudy, his arm, what's happening? Jack and Cecilia tell Mariel everything up to this point in their adventure. Use the herbs and the pain will go away. This is a benefit of the life within metal body that you possess, Rudy. Life within metal? How would you know, Mar Mariel? It is a thousand year old sin, the metal that has a consciousness. As you know, the demons have machines for their bodies. The Elus and the humans dare to step in their realm and play gods. If this was a small wound, I could do something about it with your herbs, but to replace a lost arm. Nowhere in Fulgai can you recreate life within metal again, but maybe if it were 1,000 years ago, maybe then, Rudy's arm could have been. 1,000 years ago, in Fulgaya? How can you? Let's go to the temple in the forest mound, deep in that forest to Elus. We left a gift. Alright, so go back to the forest mound, basically to the south of Rosetta Town. It is where you originally went with Mariel when you first came here, and those three little bully punks, Mayor's son and obviously, Mayor's son and his two little boorish friends came and tried to stomp over the herb and take over the forest mound that Mario was going to, well, that Mario was tending. So here it is, forest mound. All right, from here, you're going to head north. The Elus left Fogai after the war with the demons. Demons had ended. We Elus normally live in the forest. After the war, the land was no longer suitable for us, so we created this realm called the Elu Dimension. We used the last of our power to move this land to another dimension. We closed the gates and this became our new home. There you can still see the Fogaya of 1000 years ago, and this is the gate that connects the Elu world to Fogaya. We couldn't budge this thing, even with a cannon. Maybe the gate broke because of 1000 years of inactivity. That would not be good for Rudy. This gate operates on the Elu's heart and life energy. The Elus live by bonds. We bond to time in order to live an eternal life. We bond to the land to enjoy nature. We will gladly give up everything to bond with those who we believe in. Rudy saved my life in this forest. Now it's my turn to repay him. Wow, that little blood pile. Please, don't leave the mound. Vasim can. The Elu Dimension is a replica of Fogaya, 1,000 years ago. Hey, Mario, Mario, She's bleeding, bleeding badly. We need to treat her now. Alright, so basically from here, what you're going to do is you're going to run all the way south until this happens. Uh, eventually it'll happen. Oh, not that. <laughs> Just keep going. Here we are. The Elumans have activated the gate, and they are here. We came to ask your, for your help. We Elus want nothing to do with you, foolish humans. Please leave. We have people wounded here. Only you can help cure them. One of the wounded is an Elu girl. Please let us in. She is a child of a criminal. There is no reason for us to help her. Go. Go back to your dying world. Wait. We cannot risk exposing the gate to other humans. We will, we will take you to the village. Master Falconelli will decide your fate. Please help. Please help, Rudy. Look okay, at Rudy's going crazy. What the hell did you do? Follow me, outsiders from the dying world. So, you want to use our powers to fix this young man's left arm. Rudy is an important part of the team. We're trying to save the world. 
The battle with the demons has begun again. Do you trust us, the ones who are more like demons than humans? We have to. Rudy is too important. The whole world needs him. 1,000 years ago, we created this machine to combat the demons. The golems are the absolute power. Power without heart can be good or evil. The Elus and the human mage have reached into the realm of the unknown and came up with a new technology. We based this technology on demons we captured. We used living metal suit and adapted it to human physiology. An artificial biometal was created. It was called the Home Cross Project. Artificial life that can survive under any conditions. This Home Cross is the ultimate enhancement to many different kinds of arms. It synchronizes with different arms, thus enhancing the psychic power of the arm. But the Home Cross enjoyed killing so much, they literally became a killing machine. Was it the blood of the demons, or was it man's lust for conflict? No one knows for sure. The deployed Home Cross were destroyed. There is, however, one Home Cross left. An experimental model was sealed deep underground. Rudy is not a killing machine. He has a bigger heart than anyone I know. The time he spent as a human gave him a pure heart. Is that what you're saying? Rudy used to travel with an old man called Zepet. Zepet had a kind heart, and it was he who kept Rudy from turning into a weapon. He kept Rudy's heart pure. You're telling me after 1,000 years, this man unleashed an experimental machine. But it's too late. We don't have the technology to give life to metals anymore. Those powers were lost to us long ago. Then Rudy is... There's nothing we can do. The Guardian Blade Mariel, you must rest. The Guardian Blade has a life of its own. I bet if its power could, go to Brother Vasim and use the Guardian Blade on Rudy. What in the world are you saying? The Guardian Blade. It went out of control and disappeared, but not before it took half of Filgaia with it. Now, you know the sand ocean that starts from Rosetta and cuts across the land? That was a result of an untrained and unrefined Guardian Blade of Vasim. Mariel stayed there alone to pay for her brother's sins. He is working to work the turn he is working to turn the sand ocean back to normal. We can't afford to make the same mistake again. If we do nothing, then that is what Filgai will be. Nothing. If we run now, we will live like weaklings for the rest of our lives. I don't want to lose the bond between myself and the people who taught me to be strong. Vasim lives in a forest to the southwest. There, he can live without being exposed to us. He's the only one that can possibly repair the arm. If not, it will destroy us all. Please take me with you. I want to share some of what I've learned with him. Do you still want us to make the Guardian Blade? It's going to take a miracle. We have lost much of our technology to time. An evil sword. Miracles only have value if you can do it yourself. It is absolutely true. Miracles don't occur easily. If it can be done, it will probably be done by a human. The Guardian of Filgaia is a human. That is fascinating. Please hold on. Our wishes will make you well again. Okay, so that's it for this episode. We now know that Rudy is a living metal, which I actually found out last episode. But now we know how to cure him with the guard with the infinitely powerful guardian blade, which pretty much tore a hole through Fogaya. It was pretty brutal. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Come back next time, and just we'll see what happens next time. See you guys later.